Hello there, Seth goes here. Welcome back to the channel. I am um, staining this mask. This is black stain um, with water and I have my brush brushing it on water uh, right there and I will be sponging it out making sure it's all gone. If you don't have black stain, you can use uh, underglaze also. So I'm sponging it, making sure there's no trace of the black stain or underglaze. And then it will be ready for underglazing paint, painting on uh, with underglaze and glazing. So that's kind of my process. After I stain, I will dry it off for a day or two. Then I'll start underglazing it and then glaze. And half of this video is how I made this uh, uh, mask. I uh, use a mold of a plate, an oval plate, and same thing with the face. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to click, subscribe, comment, share. And uh, I will try to video when I'm going to glaze this mask. Thanks for watching. This is greenware with a slip and underglaze before firing. This is what it looked like. And then uh, the video will start on how I uh, made it or how I sculpted it. So it's a wall hanging piece. So there's a, actually an, a cylinder that I use as my wall hanging at the back of the mask. I added it later. So here's the uh, fresh clay and I'll be showing you how I sculpted the face. This is a white porcelain slip that I'm applying here and um, this clay after firing will be without uh, slip is a tan color so it's uh, without any underglaze uh, it's super tan so I try to use uh, underglazes and white slip so that helps me find the color I want for my glazes or it, it kind of intensify the color or the glazes. So here's the mask. I'm working on the mask with the support of an oval plate underneath and I'm using a wooden tool just to shape the eye, the nose, the lips and uh, saran wrap is my uh, release agent so that's kind of what i use so i can pull it out later when it's uh, almost uh, leather hard you don't want to leave it there because it will crack if you let it dry on a bowl 